New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who took to the House floor Thursday to respond to comments allegedly made by Florida Congressman Ted Yoho. Here's some of what she had to say. Let's listen. I walked back out, and there were reporters in the front of the Capitol. And in front of reporters, Representative Yoho called me, and I quote, a bitch. These are the words that Representative Yoho levied against a congresswoman. The congresswoman that not only represents... Nancy, that's pretty powerful stuff. What led up to this moment, and how significant is Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez's speech today? What led up to it was a kind of non-apology apology from Congressman Yoho on the House floor yesterday, where uh, he said that, um, you know, he should have used better language, but also denied saying what reporters heard him say, which was the, the kind of language that you just heard from uh, Congresswoman on the House floor. Um, you know, I think that she found this as, a, as an opportunity to make a point. She has obviously come under fire from uh, all sides uh, uh, on the conservative side of the spectrum since she took office. And the point that she made on the House floor today in what was a, a, a fairly um, moving and, um, and riveting speech was that uh, by using that kind of language about her, what Congressman Yoho was doing was giving permission to other men to use that kind of language against young women like his own daughters. And uh, so uh, clearly she made, uh, she found this to be an opportunity to make a point about uh, language, um, about the way that members of Congress should, should treat each other. Um, and I think it's, it's informed by uh, all the, uh, the things that she's heard said and written about her since she took office. It was, as you said, a pretty rousing speech, and it has gotten a lot of traction online. Do you think this is something that could have some, any long-term effects on Representative Yoho's career? Uh, I think I, uh, he, he is somewhat of a backbencher. He's not somebody who usually jumps into this sort of partisan fire. Um, it was just an unusual moment for him. Um, Congresswoman Jayapal, the leader of the Progressive Caucus, spoke right after uh, Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, and she even noted that she has traveled on uh, foreign congressional delegations with Mr. Yoho, and she found him to be otherwise kind of, like, nice. So she was just <laughs> as stunned by all of this. Um, I think it's all really interesting when you consider that this is a week in which you had Donald Trump and his closest allies, Republican allies, attacking Liz Cheney, the, the highest-ranking Republican woman, and now you have Ted Yoho attacking Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and it just feeds into this never-ending narrative for Republicans that they just have trouble dealing with women in power. The optics certainly are not good. All right. Well, Nancy Cortez and Paul Kane, thanks to both of you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.